yes, uh, good day to everybody who is watching. Um, I would really like to say thank you to iDite for having me present their products uh, worldwide. Fantastic company. Um, I'm really say over the last few years it's been a fantastic journey with them. Uh, to my person, for those people who uh, don't know me, my name is Vanik uh, Kaufmann Ginoyen. I'm a dental technician from Switzerland and we have one of the largest laboratories in the country. We are the largest lab group in the country and in our group we do everything from crown and bridge to you name it, we do it. Uh, by the way, I was one of the five which invented the CAT camp for the dental laboratories. That was around 1987 and it's really incredible how far we have come from those days. Okay? Uh, we started with the CEREC uh, 2 machine and now we have all kind of 5 axis machines and everything is become digital. So for me it's really a very exciting time now because it makes our lives much easier in dental laboratory and uh, you know industry has been changing a lot and a few companies have realized that, that the industry has been changing and one of them is iDite. Uh, I was one of the first, about 15 years ago, which started using iDite products and everybody here also in Switzerland were laughing at me. They say, uh, how come you can use a Chinese product? I said, well, the Chinese have a lot of experience. You know, they were the first uh, manufacturing uh, porcelain a few dynasties ago. And uh, so they have the knowledge, they know how to do it. And that was one of the main reasons I started using. And I had realized the, the time that actually digital uh, manufactured product is going to be the future because zircon oxide can only be uh, manufactured digitally. So I must really thank IDA that they are one of the leading, I would say the leading company worldwide in zircon oxides. And uh, you know, all their products now are geared to digital and they are really fantastic. It's products from 3D printing to uh, zircon oxides to their fantastic biomic stasis which they use for their zircon oxides to their glass ceramics. So they are really a very, very fast growing international company with fantastic digital products. Uh, I must say, I think at the moment there's no company that I know that is so you know, so has so good products and understands the market, understands us technicians, understands the dentists from the clinical side, what is needed. And they're putting a lots of efforts in their R&D department. So keep it going, Ida, you know, uh, I know you're 20 years now in the business, but for us, uh, for me, 15 years working with you has been a fantastic time, helped me grow my business, have given the patient security, and really thank you. People are asking me, what do you think about 3D printing? Well, 3D printing is a huge business. And again, here, I was one of the first to realize this market. Uh, we started around 2015 with 3D printing and I was the first one internationally speaking about 3D printing. And people at that time were not really realizing how important it is. In Switzerland, we have one of the largest markets for dentists using intraoral scans. When somebody's using intraoral scans, that means they need to basically print models or all kinds of other parts, you know, from uh, splints to dentures or whatever you, you need. So printing is going to be essential in the whole dental industry. Uh, 3D printing, when we started, we were printing maybe 30 models a month. Now in our lab here, we print about 1,200 models a month. So you see how the business has been growing. So 3D printing is the future. Uh, and I think 3D printing, not with LCD printers, with those cheap ones, but I think printers with projectors, with like 4K or high definition projectors are the ones for the future in the dental field. The other ones are more for the hobby use. People ask me, you know, what printer should I buy? Uh, it's not the printer, it's a system which we are looking at. You know, you should not just buy one printer and say, okay, I'm going to use this, this, this. The best is if you buy a system from a company, it means from the printer to the resins which are there, 
to the light curing uh, units which are needed because the companies basically do all the testing and have a certified process. That's why it's very, very important that you buy a system from a company, not just a printer. And iDite is one of the few companies uh, worldwide that offer a complete solution for your dental laboratory because they are the leaders in zircon oxide. Uh, they know what we need. The third question which people have been asking me is what do you think about DLP or LCD printers? I must be real honest, uh, we started with DLP printers, then we started to try LCD printers, you will see that afterwards in, in the uh, second part of the video, and I would not buy an LCD printer anymore. The LCD printers are very good for home use, for those kind of use, but for our production, for uh, the way we work in a dental laboratory, I don't think they are really the right way to go. First of all, the LCD panels don't have the power which we need. Uh, secondly, they lose power after a certain amount of prints and you're not sure if your accuracy is still there. So you always have to keep on checking your parts if they are still big enough. You have to always uh, print small calibration bodies and measure them. Uh, with DLP printers, this problem is very, very, very small. The, po the power of the printers allows us to print very fast. So we can print models like in you know, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. It depends on the, the micron dimension you want. So I think LCD printers are very good, but not really good for the dental industry. Many of my colleagues say, oh, it's fantastic, I'm using LCD printers. But let me tell you, once you start using a DLP printer, you will say, no, I'm not going to go back. Uh, what we've been finding is, especially round holes which you have to print, or implant parts, the LCD printers are not so accurate. DLP printers can really print very nice round holes. And LCD printers basically, they print it okay, but not as accurate as a DLP. So for accuracy, I think the only way in the field is a DLP printer because you can really always reproduce every accuracy.